May 12th, last year, Mother's Day, I was here with my youngest and I had a knock on the door and it was a police officer telling me that they found him watching my house up by at the end of the street. Shireen Day and Les Miller were together on and off for three years. In January 2019, she went to police. He's been charged with two counts of assault and criminal harassment. Miller has pleaded not guilty and is going to trial, but that's been delayed because of the pandemic. It's very frustrating. It really teaches you patience. Going to police set off a lengthy, confusing process for this single mom of two. Day says navigating the judicial and policing systems is no easy feat. Everybody's overworked. There's so many cases. They don't have time to sit down and speak with you. For me, I need to understand, okay, when I make a charge, what happens next? What are the things that I should be expecting? There is no one place you can go to in this system that will provide you that whole holistic view of it. There's nothing. In the spring of 2019, Day noticed a post from a woman whose ex-boyfriend was wanted in Ontario for allegedly abusing her. Kevin Evans would later be arrested and charged. He's awaiting trial, but has already been convicted of assaulting two former girlfriends. The two women connected and now run a Facebook page dedicated to what Day was looking for, help. We wanted to create a safe space for women here in Newfoundland to talk about their experiences, to share their stories, and also we wanted to create an, an environment where we could actually help each other through cases, what you do when you testify, who do you speak with, what are your rights, what you can and cannot do. There are hundreds of members. They plan on attending each other's court hearings so no one has to walk in alone. That's the positive of social media. But Day has seen the way the online era can breed more domestic violence too. Women unknowingly dating men who are on online apps the same time as they're on the court docket. Have you seen examples of that as well? Many times. But most of these women don't know. Most of these women have no clue that this person is up on charges or they've been previously convicted of domestic violence. They have no clue. Day says it's a time of reckoning, women mourning women. And Day says she feels their support as she continues her journey through the court system. Ariana Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.